Brothers and sisters, it has been too long. And we've got important things to catch up on. Because while I have been battling a terrible case of bronchitis for the last six weeks, it seems the wheels of Ed Kelly's wagon have just continued to fall off as we fall further away from our trade union principles. Stick around, because we're going to cover your union's new partnership with the Chinese-made outsourcer, our alliance with the Heritage Foundation and the National Right to Work Legal Defense Fund, and there's more on the IAFF FC SEC investigation. But first things first, let's talk about the watch. The bad judgment and exploitation of our union continues as Ed and his band of cronies keep hacking away at anything they can find at headquarters to try to profiteer from. Now, our union has sold out our trademark logo, and we're allowing it to be squandered in an effort to fleece our own membership with made-in-China goods. Yeah, that's the ugly truth about Walker Wood watches. It was recently covered by the New York Times in March this year. Their founder, a typical anti-labor executive who brags about not having any employees. He shares his values about hiring freelancers and consultants to help manufacture his watches third party in mainland China and Hong Kong. That's the company the IFF president sold out our logo to. He sold out our brand. He sold us out. The exploitation is a clear violation of the IFF logo policy. The policy is very direct. Products licensed to display the logo must be union made or when union-made products are not available, made in the United States and Canada. Another policy violated to try to make a quick buck, turning our backs on U.S. and Canadian manufacturers, turning our backs on U.S. and Canadian union employees, in place of what? A not-so-cheap made-in-China import? It's a bitter truth of the part-time president and his pattern of full-time bad judgment. But the bad calls don't stop there. The leadership spent tens of thousands of dollars also on a focus group of our union members with Frank Luntz. Frank Luntz, are you kidding me? Brothers and sisters, for those of you who may not know, Google Frank Luntz. Frank Luntz is the political mastermind and architect behind the Heritage Foundation's decades-long assault against labor unions and collective bargaining. He is the enemy of our union. He's not an impartial ally or pollster. Frank is the architect. He's the, Frank is the entire Trojan horse itself. And I was shocked to see that the general president would invite the man who profiteered, who built and who wrote the National Right to Work Legal Defense Fund poll of union member attitudes to be our IAFF internal focus group host. Worse, and here's the scary part, in order to participate in the IFF focus group, you had to sign a release allowing Frank Luntz to record you. And you had to consent that your audio and your video may be shown on media outlets, TV, or online streaming. Why does Frank Luntz need to show our focus group on TV? Brothers and sisters, Ed Kelly has spent tens of thousands of our union members' dollars to pay this anti-labor, anti-collective bargaining, anti-union architect, and agent of the National Right to Work Movement and friend of the Heritage Foundation to record and retain the right to distribute our members' thoughts and opinions on the IAFF. The fox has been invited to feast in the hen house. And as if that wasn't enough, the IFF Financial Corporation's partner and the IFF Financial Corporation's legal counsel will be joining me next week in beautiful Austin, Texas. On November 13th, as I have been served with a subpoena for a federal deposition referring to nothing else than my statements and the recordings about the SEC investigation of the IFF Financial Corporation of Bay State Mass Mutual. Brothers and sisters, is this the leadership you want? Do you want a president who sells out to Chinese manufacturing for a quick hundred bucks? Do you want a president who personally selects and hires the agents and allies of the Heritage Foundation and the National Right to Work Coalition and Legal Defense Fund? Do you want a president who likely has authorized shady or perhaps even maybe illegal behavior led by disgraced and disbarred attorneys? and unprepared cronies to try to prop up a broken system of failed kickbacks and pay-for-play access, we can do better. Frankly, we must do better. Brothers and sisters, you are the IAFF, and in this election, you have a voice, you have a vote, you have a choice. Join the campaign, and let's help make our union work again. Let's rebuild our commitment to our trade union principles, rebuild our commitment to our membership. My name is Braden Fram, and I'm asking for your vote for IAFF General President. Part-time just isn't working. Let's do better together.